I'm getting ready for tomorrow. I'm going on a school bus trip. I got a trip where I'm staying, which I haven't done in forever. I'm gonna bring my camera, got my drone. So I had a trip to take fishing club. I never even knew there was a thing. But we went to this cool park, a wacka park or whatever. Uh, and I thought I would take some, some photos while the kids were fishing and go on a little hike. good because I got to pick the kids back up I don't know where I am I don't know if this is a trail or not I don't know uh, I'll just follow this little path and we'll see this is scary this is bad not good uh, hopefully I get to where I need to go There's a trail right here. Let's see if this will get me where I need to go. I gotta pick them up at 6.15ish. And right now, it's uh, 5.45. And I'm gonna have to drive back to get them. Oh boy, bad idea. But it's so nice out. No idea where I am. Nothing's looking familiar. At all. Never seen this thing. Oh shoot. All right, I gotta find a map or something on my phone. I'll let you guys go. I've been walking for a good five minutes, I guess and still no sign of the road or one of the main tracks i was on i remember orange and black i'm on a yellow trail i should have looked at the map i did not look at a map this is a stupid idea and tiffany was just yelling at me be careful but she didn't say anything about getting lost she just said be careful middle of the woods nothing around me no roads, no. In the trail, this is what I'm following. That little line. Hopefully, it gets me to where I need to go. Or this is gonna be embarrassing, and hopefully I don't get fired. I doubt it, because they're short on bus drivers, but I gotta hustle. All right, I'm on another path, a little wider, so it must mean it's a main trail. 551 and I gotta pick the kids up at 6, 615. I don't know why I get myself in these situations. All right, I was just trying to take some cool pictures, but I should have just sat there and waited. Main path, I can see my bus. 554, I'm supposed to pick them up at 6, 615. And I still gotta drive all the way around the block to try to get to them to get on that side of the street to pick them up. Oh, I got my workout for today, that's for sure. Sorry I've been getting this bus. Come to find out, I wasn't the only one lost. Uh, 
as you can see at the end of the video right there I made it on time to pick up the kids uh, they were all on the side of the road it was really weird I dropped them off on the side of the road so they can go in the woods and go fishing uh, that was my first time taking fishing so but all the kids get on the bus the coaches are on the bus or whatever you want to call them fishing captains <laughs> I don't know but then one of the kids I'm getting ready to leave one of the kids said Mike's still missing and I guess this happened last time but it wasn't like they were still nearby it was like hey come on but I guess this kid went missing for a good hour and the coaches and some of the kids went looking for him the coach called the police uh, to see if they could find the kid and come to find out he went two miles up river and he was just chilling eating takis uh, just enjoying his fishing lost track of time <laughs> I guess but they finally get him back to the bus and I'm all like what is going on because he comes on the bus, his whole mouth is blue. Like, I thought, like, whew, what happened? Did this kid get stuck and was drowning and freezing or something? Or, but, nah, he was chilling, eating blue Takis, them chips that are spicy, I guess. And the coach was, like, flipping out. Like, he thought he was done for. <laughs> he thought he was done. Like, and the police never showed up. That's the funny thing. I, I think, ah. Uh, when you got all them kids to be responsible for, that's why I like doing sports runs because I'm not responsible for the kids. The coaches are. But I got my set of group of kids, and I try to maintain them and keep an eye on them and, you know, know who's on and what. But to, to go fishing in the woods like that and having the buddy system and one straggler go off, that has to be, like, I was getting anxiety for the coach. Like, I'm like hopefully nothing bad happened to this kid please everything be okay be okay be okay be okay but the kid was fine shame on the coach not to show and throw any shade or whatever but he should have had like the kids numbers he should have reached out and you know did a better job on the buddy system there uh yeah everybody made it home safely and that's the bottom line. That's all that matters. Uh, that's all I got. If you like these little story times or, you know, little mini vlogs of school bus trips, anything, let me know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, over and out.